Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. This is Lachmi Kantiwari. In this video, I'll be teaching you a UART communication via Arduino to your PC. So let's suppose that if we consider this module as our Arduino, okay, and if we consider this as our PC or some another device. okay we can transfer a data using this uart communication to the pc for arduino arduino uses a usb to transfer this data to the pc so the moreover internally usb implement a serial input and the output to a arduino so as in this video series, we are reading Arduino Uno. So the Arduino Uno have RX and the TX pin at the pin number 0 and the 1. That means RX it has a, at the 0 number and the TX is at a pin number 1. For a UART communication, you got first start sending a data with a start bit and then it sends a chunk of the data that is usually 8 bit and then it sends a parity bit which is optional and then it sends a stop bit okay so and this is a total frame length and the rate at which you are sends this data that is known as a bound rate okay so the generally you can say this is a bit per second right and arduino have a many serial communication protocols like i2c spi and the uart so we will be reading i2c spi in further tutorial in this we are going to focus on a uart like here you can see it has a tx and the rx pin at the 1 and the 0 and it also implements an internal usb a serial converter through this port which also supplies the power and it also program this microcontroller now let's go come back to the function here we are our Arduino have a many inbuilt function which is basically used for a serial functioning like if serial available that means it, it will check that if serial port is open and here this one available that means if I say that serial dot available that means it will check that if there is any bytes or a data into serial port okay to the red and it will check if there is any data in a serial port to write and this will open a UART so if I say let's say a serial dot begin 9600 so this is the baud rate it will start UART this will close a UART and this will find some particular character and this will also find some particular character and it will flush uh, a buffer of a serial port okay the internal serial memory and these will read floating and the integer value this will skip some value without removing a value from the internal buffer of the serial port and this print and the print will send data send to you what and uh, this read read byte read until read strings these will read data okay read data from computer or some other memory and then this will set a timeout let's say if we are into the read mode it, it can set a timeout for which we will be waiting to read any data 
and this is of course send the data to computer there are some differences into the write and the print i'll tell you that later and this is used for a interrupt okay so in case let's say if there is any event occurred into a serial input or the output it will trigger this serial event so here is a example code for a serial dot read okay so this is a serial dot read it will read a one byte at a time right so here i am saying that incoming byte is zero incoming byte is zero then there are default function like setup and loop then serial dot begin open serial port and it sets the data powder rate to 9600 bit per second and then there this line checks if there is any data available into serial port buffer if there is any data available then it will execute this line of code otherwise it will skip this code and then this line will read read a byte and then finally this will print data on the port that's mean on the computer it will say that i received and then again it will say that a print ln incoming bytes that's mean the print data which it has received okay print data on pc so this is a very basic code for the serial read as well as uh, 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 the serial print okay as you can see a serial right so the moreover this is very uh, first example code and uh, let's write this code and test it so we'll start from here so we'll say first int let's say um, incoming byte that is equal to zero and then i am going to start a port that you can say the serial dot begin with the 9600 baud rate and then after that i am going to check if there is any data available serial available right so the incoming byte is equal to serial dot rent so it will read the first byte of the data and then it will print this data serial dot print that i received you see there is a little difference between serial print and print ln so the print ln prints data with a new line okay but a serial print print data without a new line so here we have incoming byte and i'm going to send this incoming byte with the deck format that is the decimal so i have connected my arduino with the computer now let's just upload this code and the once this code is uploaded you will see here code has been uploaded it is done uploading and then we can open a serial monitor from here so just click on this it will open a serial monitor with a baud rate you can set a baud rate from here we are going to set a baud rate 9600 and then i am going to send the data that is just a one just send it once i send it it said that I received 49 and 10. Okay, so let's see again. Send here the two. It says that I have received 50 and 10. Okay, so what 
is happening here if I send a 3 you see here it is saying that it has received a data that is 51 and 1 0 so that is the 3 okay so if we see that with our uh, um, the ASCII character you see for a 3 for a 3 it is a 51 okay and for a 2 it is a 50 and for a 1 it is a 49 and for a 0 it is a 48 let's say if I send here a 0 then you will see here it is sending a 48 okay then what is happening here it is breaking this into a 2 byte so by this point you might have been wondering that why I am sending a 1 value but it is returning a 2 value so let's see it is because of this new line okay so if I say here a new line and let's say if I send a 0 it will send a 48 which is corresponding to the 0 you see here this 48 corresponding to the 0 and then there is a new line is being fed that is a 10 if I set this new line to no ending line and then if I send a 0 then you see here this just returning a 48 and if I send a 9 then it will return a corresponding value of a 9 which is a 57 into a into a Fifty-seven into ASCII character. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox. Bye bye. Have a nice day.